Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Sichamba Jacob. All right, so in today's video, we'll try to look at question 22 and question 23. So in my previous video, I looked at uh, question... Uh, I looked at question uh, 1 to question 21. So if you have not watched the videos, kindly do so. I'll put the link in the description below so that you can be able to watch all the videos on paper one GCE 2020. All right, so here we start with question 22, whereby we've been given an equation. So we write the equation, the way it looks. This is how the equation looks. And this equation, the way it looks, shows that we're dealing with the quadratic equation. The first thing will be to put it in order. So this we have put it in order, whereby we get this 8 crosses the equal sign and it changes the sign. So we know that this is our product, uh, our sum, and this is our product here. So we need to find two numbers, whereby when we add them, they give us negative 7. And when we multiply them, they give us negative 8. And that is negative 8 and 1. Because if we say negative 8... Multiply by 1, it's negative 8. Negative 8 plus 1, it's negative 7. So now, we can copy our equation nicely so that we see it the way it will be matching. So the way it looks here, we can uh, open bracket, write x, then close, just like this, is equal to 0. So these spaces I'm leaving, you put in these. So here we can put negative 8 here, we'll put it positive 1. And then we have formed the equations. O x plus 1 is equal to 0. So we can group the like terms whereby 8 x will be equal to 8 or x will be equal to negative 1. So these are the two answers. We go to the next question, B. So for question, uh, question B, 22B, the equation looks like this. So in order for us to find this equation, we're going to use the idea of completing the square method in order for us to find the value of x. So what we'll do is we'll put it, 0. We let y is equal to 0. So the equation will look like this. And then at this point, we can uh, solve for x. So how do we solve for x? We can group the like terms whereby 4 open bracket x minus 1 over 2 then power there uh, is equal to will remain with 9 here I've just gotten this stuff and come this other side of the the equal sign where there is 0 and then you can divide by 4 divide by 4 so you remain with x minus 1 over 2 is equal to 9 over 4 so now here you get rid of this power by squaring both sides. So of x minus 1 over 2 is equal to square root of 9 is 3, of, of uh, 4 is 2. So there are two answers here. There is negative, a positive, and negative 3 over 2. So now you can solve two equations whereby say x minus 1 over 2 is equal to 3 over 2 or x minus 1 over 2 is equal to negative 3 over 2 then here you group the like terms so first we are dealing with this side of the equation you group the like terms so the value of x is equal to 2. So the value of x will be equal to 2. We go to the other one. Also group the like terms. Let's 
So the value of x is equal to negative 1. Thank you. We go to the next question where I've been taught to to find which is b. I mean, which is b2. We have been taught to find the coordinates of c. So if you can see nicely, the coordinates of c. So uh, c is over here, meaning we need to find the y-intercept first. We find where this line is cutting y axis so we we'll say we we'll copy the equation y is equal to negative 4 x minus 1 over 2 power 2 here plus 9 all right so uh in this case we want to solve for y and we're going to say y is equal to 4 and then we let x be equal to 0 so we write 0 there 1 over 2, close bracket, power 2 here, plus 9. Then we solve the equation. So when we solve nicely, we'll find that we remain with negative 1 over 2 here, power 2 plus 9. So this is what we remain with. And then the next thing here will be to solve. So when we solve nicely, we we'll have 1 over 4. Because of this power, it will be 1 over 4, and the power negative will disappear, plus 9. So we say y is equal to negative 4. Okay, I've just repeated this, sorry, I've just repeated. I don't copy this. I've just copied what is here, even if you skip this, we're just supposed to divide here. So we divide 4 into uh, negative 4. So we remain with the negative 1 plus 9 which is equal to 8. So the value, uh, the, the y value or the y axis is, uh, negative, uh, is 8. And the coordinates of C will be 0, 8. This is the answer. Thank you. So uh, this question says, a sprinter runs a race of 200 meters. Her total time for running the race is 25 seconds, ending at U meters uh, per second below is a sketch of the motion of a sprinter so this is uh yeah this is the motion of the sprinter and the first question they say calculate uh on the, calculate the acceleration in the first four seconds so first four seconds is somewhere here so it will be uh, acceleration is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity over time whereby when we check our v which is uh Final velocity, it's here, it's 9. Minus initial velocity, it's here, 0, where this started from. So it started like this and it was going up here. And then the time here is 4 seconds. And when we solve, we'll find our answer to be like this. So we can say 4, four, four into 9, it's a 2, remainder 1 over 4 meters. The second is velocity so this is our answer we go to question two the distance covered in the uh, the first 20 seconds so distance we know it's see uh, one over two if you can say first over i mean first um first sec first 20 seconds so first 20 seconds it's here so it's forming a uh, trapezium so formula for finding area of the trapezium is like this it's what we're going to use to find the distance which is equal to 1 over 2 a will be the distance from here to here which is 20 plus b it's from here to here it's b which is 16 times height height where is the height from here to here it's 9 so when we solve nicely we'll find our answer to be equal to 162 Meter. So this is the distance in the first 20 seconds. We go to the next question, finding the value of u. So in order for us to find the value of u, we follow the statement the way it says here, like all this was done in uh, the, the distance is 200 meters, like they have said in the question. So just try to find 
uh, the distance covered in the last five five seconds. So what we we'll do we we'll say two hundred minus one hundred and twenty. Our answer will be thirty eight. So meaning the distance for the last five seconds it's thirty eight. So now we we'll come and say distance uh, one over two a plus b h here. So the distance is that eight is equal to one over two. A will be the distance from here to here, which is equal to u plus b the distance from here to here, which is nine. Height will be the distance from here to here, or the length from here to here, which is five. So now we can solve. We solve here will be thirty-eight is equal to 1 over 2 5 u plus 45 when we uh, distribute this 5 i'm just distributing the 5 and then we can cross multiply when we cross multiply this will be 76 is equal to 5 u plus 45 we subtract to be 76 minus 40 uh, 5 is equal to 5 u this will be equal to 31 is equal to 5 u so we can now divide by 5 and our answer will be u is equal to 31 over 5 you can leave it like this meters per second actually for this acceleration we forgot to put the units which is uh, squared it's supposed to be squared here thank you